What's up, YouTube? It's Young Man's Daily RP back with another video. Thank you guys for clicking on today's video. Before we get started, I need you guys to do these three things. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about what love bombing is, how to identify it, and lastly, how to avoid it. A lot of men don't know what love bombing is, and I'd say 99% of men don't even know how to identify when it's happening to them nor do they know how to avoid it in general. And YouTube does not like when I make videos like this. They don't like when I expose female nature. They don't like when I make red pill topics. So what you can do in order to get more truth bombs and more in-depth details like this is engage in any way possible with the algorithm, whether that's leaving a like, whether that's leaving a comment and hitting subscribe button, whether that's sharing it to a friend that might need this, that might not know this information. All of that helps grow this channel and it helps get this information out to more men because a lot of men guys are living in the dark. I know that we've uncovered a lot of truths on this channel, but a lot of men don't have those truths. So with no further ado, let's talk about love bombing in detail. A lot of you guys from my last video where I broke down the five subtle ways women brainwash men wanted me to talk about in depth how women love bomb men. And with no further ado, let's reveal the hidden secrets and truths behind love bombing and how women use it to manipulate and brainwash men. Let's dive into it, guys. So before I teach you guys how to identify and then avoid love bombing, I have to first teach you guys what love bombing even means in the first place and what the definition of love bombing is. So guys, love bombing is overwhelming a person with affection, love, and gifts in order to gain that person's trust because you know you're giving them gifts, you're supplying them with something that they might think is unique and special to them. But these people that are love bombing, the only reason they're showering you and overwhelming you with gifts and love and what might seem like affection and attention or compliments is so that the person that is doing the love bombing can gain the upper hand of manipulation over you. Because now that they have your trust and now that you think they actually genuinely care about you because they gave you some gifts, now you're more likely to actually truly think that that person is into you. And now we're going to talk about how to identify a person that is love bombing you. And then we'll talk about how to avoid it. So how do you identify what love bombing is? All right, guys, it's kind of difficult sometimes to be able to pick up on when someone's love bombing you, especially if you grew up in maybe an environment where people didn't have malicious intent when they did nice things for you, where they necessarily weren't wanting something back in return. You know, I grew up in a household where it felt almost like there was unconditional love that you didn't have to provide anything to get love and you that's watching this might be able to relate to that so it's harder for us because we grew up in an environment where there was love everywhere or so we thought but the easiest way to identify when someone is love bombing you and it's not truly genuine is you will see a shift in that person's character after a minor disagreement and part of their true character will start to show through the mask that they're holding up all right guys that is the easiest way to spot someone that is love bombing you. Their true character during a disagreement or an argument will start to show through. The second easiest way to identify a person that is love bombing is by seeing how they treat strangers and seeing if the way they treat that stranger matches the same way they treat you. One of the easiest way, one of the ways that I look at this and I've identified women that have love bombed me in the past is look at their relationship with their parents. Look at how they treat when you're out at dinner, look how they treat the server, the waitress, the waiter, whoever it may be, the janitor, the taxi driver, the guy at the ticket booth at the movie theater. See how that woman or that man, if you're a woman watching this, treats that other person and see if that energy and the personality that they show you in private matches how they're treating that person because the way that the person that is love bombing is treating someone else will eventually be the way that they treat you unfortunately but a lot of guys don't pick up on this as well as a lot of women so the two easiest ways to identify someone that is love bombing i'll review it again is after a minor disagreement you see their personality starts to change you see a little bit of their true character starts to come out and it's very eye-opening. And you'll be able to pick up on this as soon as it starts to happen because someone can only keep up an act or a front for a certain period of time before their mask chips and eventually falls off and you see the beast underneath. And then the second way is their personality towards strangers doesn't match the same personality and the same person they are around you. Remember guys, 
Look at how that other person that might be potentially love bombing you is treating someone else that they don't even know because they're putting on their best act around you or their ambassador, someone that they want themselves to represent that they might not truly be, but maybe they want you to believe they are. They can only put on that act for a certain period of time before it gets exhausting and before their true self starts to come out. This is why I tell you guys, you must vet women that you're dating, that you're talking to. You have to set aside a period of time and get them in different social situations before you get into any type of relationship with that person. You need to know what their true character is. And if they're just love bombing you for the time being to get something out of you and to get you to trust them only to eventually take their mask off once you're in that relationship with that person, and show their true nasty self. So now that you know the definition of love bombing and how to identify it, you wanna know how to avoid it. The easiest way to avoid love bombing is to test for it. I need you guys to really take note here. If you feel like you're being love bombed, please put this into practice, put this into action as soon as possible because it's best to weed out these people and these users and manipulators before they get you more emotionally involved with them. So what I want you guys to do, and one of the ways that I test women that might be love bombing me, is when they're love bombing you and they're showering you with gifts, favors, and what you might think is true love and true genuine desire, is start showing no appreciation and no increase in desire for that person when they're showing you all this love and they're bombarding you with it. The second way I want you guys to test her is start asking her for things that are inconvenient for her, that make her go above and beyond, that make her genuinely, truly invest in you as a man and as a potential partner and someone that could be on your team. You need to test her to see her response. You need to see if her true character will show, and she will show you through these two tests over a period of time, not just a few weeks or a month, over years sometimes, that she is genuinely a good woman and genuinely has your best interest in mind and isn't just love bombing you. So with these two tests, you'll be able to identify if a woman is love bombing you or if she's genuinely actually interested in being a part of your team and building something. Unfortunately, when I've used these tests in the past, I've noticed that the majority of women are just love bombing me and that might be the case with you as well, they're just easily able to hide those things. But if you make a woman go above and beyond and invest in you over a long period of time and continue to invest, continue to submit, continue to do things that might be inconvenient for her, and she sticks around and she does more than you've asked for and then some, that is a good sign that that woman wants to build with you and she isn't just love bombing you and she genuinely respects you and she wants to build with you. Over a long period of time, it's very difficult for a lot of these women to continue to be sweet, to continue to go out of their way to be nice to you. But if you can get a woman to do this over and over and over again, and I mean years, guys, and that woman is craving your validation and your time when you're on your purpose, when you're building things, and she wants to come alongside you and help, that might be a clear sign that she is not just love bombing you and she wants to truly build something fantastic with you. But unfortunately, the majority of men have no idea how to identify love bombing and how to test for it. So they're going to be left behind, they're going to be left in the dark. And what you can do in order to help men like that get this information and learn what to look out for. Maybe you have a friend that's going through something similar and maybe you, you see him with a woman and you know that that woman is using him and just wants him for something. You can send him this video and have him, or maybe it's yourself in a relationship, put those two tests into action and see if they work. I want you guys to practice these things until it becomes just secondhand nature and you know what you want as a man and you accept nothing less but a woman that's submissive, that wants to build, and that cares for you and respects you and is loyal to you. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you learned any valuable information or if I helped clear up anything that you might have had confusion about or maybe didn't think of, be sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and turn on the bell notification so you can get my videos when they come out and share the content to someone that might need it. Also, if you can comment something for the algorithm, that would be much appreciated as well. Whether it's good commentary, bad commentary, something I need to change in my delivery, or something you'd like to see more of in the future, that would all be much appreciated and it would help grow this channel. Until next time, it's your boy. Have a good one. I'm gone.